Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. This right here looks like a really good energy to me overall. Ace of Wands here. There's a passion, new beginning coming about. The Knight of Pentacles here. Justice, Three of Swords, Four of Cups. Yeah, so something here is moving forward despite someone's... Um, Despite many attempts to block something from moving forward, it may be something that moves in slow and steady, but you will receive it. Now, of course, you never know what's going to come out in the reading, but it does go with what I wanted to share. I wanted to share this yesterday, but um, I didn't get back on to post anything yesterday. Yesterday, you guys, interestingly enough, and I've been doing this more, and you guys can let me know in the comments how like <laughs> do these different things resonate with you or not but you know we tend to use a lot of different analogies and metaphors to explain different things and for me there's things happening in my personal life that um i just share with you um because it, it makes it helps to make situations make more sense in a way so yesterday i um i went to the the dealership yesterday um, because my, I had, had, um, just my maintenance done on my car and you guys know a, a lot of dealerships, like they'll just put you in a loaner car or whatever. So had a loaner car. And when I returned the loaner car, um, I forgot to get my garage door opener. Okay. So I go back yesterday and I, you know, showed up to pick up my garage door opener. I kid you not, you guys, they tell me that they have given my garage door opener to someone else. The other part, the person that they gave my garage door opener to, their last name was the same except one letter. Okay. They gave my garage door opener to somebody else. So I was like, wow. Um, that was that. And so they were extremely apologetic and they actually arranged for someone to bring my garage door opener to my house. They actually sent someone from the dealership to my house with my garage door opener so that I wouldn't have to come back after a wait or anything like that. But what's very interesting while I'm sharing this, and I promise you it'll make sense. We recently had the full moon in Capricorn, and I've been talking a lot about, you know, people sending out this negative energy for freak accidents and everything else. I took my car in for regular um maintenance oil change or whatever i i had a rental car the loaner car for a few days all right and sometimes you'll just be we always say as above so below and i I've, I've picked up a lot of freak accident um black magic and stuff like that that's being done and it's just amazing how god will cover um will cover us because i wasn't actually in my car for several days um i could i could have easily went and got my car probably the same day or the next day but I, but I didn't. It was like, for some reason, I was just in that loner vehicle for a few days. Um, and then to get there yesterday, the way I saw the situation with the garage door opener and thinking about the chariot, we are in 2023. We are in the seventh month. This is the year of the number seven, all about the chariot. And we've talked so much lately about people destiny swapping, trying to take your your life or or your destiny and the truth is a lot of people have been walking in our energy using our energetic signature and they're being caught um and I'm, i've been mentioning how so many people are doing these rituals or initiations or whatever and they've done this in the past and they pretty much robbed you blind but they're coming in to try and do it again but because of you know your ascension your spiritual upgrades your spiritual awareness your spiritual team it's not as easy and they're coming up empty handed. That doesn't stop them from trying. You think about the situation with the garage door opener. First of all, I have a, a unique a, a unique last name, I would say. Um, they said that the person, their last name was one letter different. It was one letter different in their name. A lot of people have tried to use our energy and they've gotten it down. This is their copycat energy where they've studied us. They've learned how to try and walk and talk and be as much like us as possible. But the thing about like a garage door opener, just like with your energetic signature, your blood, your DNA, 
if a person does not, it's not you. I don't care how much they try to clone and be like you. You cannot actually replicate a divine being. You just, it, it won't happen. You can take my garage door opener to a different house. It'll never open up the garage. You know what I'm saying? You can take my energy and you can try to harvest it or do it. It'll never give you what it is that you want, which is access to my home, my temple, access to my full birthright, access to my connection to the divine. You will never get it. Okay, I hope you guys follow what I'm saying. So that was just interesting. I wanted to share that. I'm going to hop into the cards now. We have the Emperor, the Will of Fortune, and Death. The overall energy was the Ace of Wands. So like I said, a very passionate new beginning here. This could be a creative idea, um, a project. There also, I'm getting even like, um, for some, sexual passion here for some reason um, with the Emperor being out here. Hmm. You have the Knight of Pentacles here in the Justice. So this is something that's coming in. It's reliable. It's dependable. Like I said, maybe slow and steady, but it's very practical. And it's bringing in balance. It's also karmic justice here. The Three of Swords and the Four of Cups. This is a lot of disappointment from some type of interference, friction, heartbreak, pain, suffering, or interference um, from some situation here. And you have to be mindful not to focus too much on whatever this um, situation is here that could cause you to be a bit sad about a situation because what Spirit is saying is that there is a new offer that is being presented to you and you will be able to move forward. So try to remain positive, optimistic, hopeful, wishful, you know, be as vibrant as, as you can be because someone here I feel in the background is definitely stressed out in a lot of fear and anxiety because someone has tried to take your garage door opener to open your garage again and it's not working. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is trying to tap into your energy to take something from you or to stop or, or block you from receiving something and it's not working. Something here has come to a complete end. Okay, and something in your life is transforming as a result of that. And I feel that someone is quite disappointed. I am picking up possibly a masculine energy. It seems like some of you, you have more than one masculine that could be in your energetic field right now. It's like an old person and a, a new person. Um, some of you, this person, the new person hasn't even entered your life just yet, but they will. Yeah, wow, look at that. As I said, they're the sun. Something that brings you a lot of happiness, peace, enlightenment, um, joy. But there is juggling here. Okay, you may be feeling like you're juggling right now because like I said, I do feel like there could be more than one person in your energy, but like the trumpet is blowing on someone. Someone here has to get out. As I look at this card and I see these people coming like out of these graves, I guess you could say for some of you, there's like a past life connection here. There is one I feel that's coming into your life that is going to help you to awaken more. Um, where you are, but I feel that you are calling for karmic justice on another past life connection, possibly with something or someone that has caused you um, this this heartache and this pain here, okay? Whoever this person is in your energy, though, whoever, whether it's a friend, family member, lover, they are a, a an enemy of yours, and maybe they were hidden for a very long time, but this person definitely, well, look, this person wanted to make sure that you were stuck. They wanted to make sure that you could not see yourself. You couldn't see your self-worth. You couldn't see any type of way out of a situation. This is someone who has been gatekeeping and trying to block your forward movement and happiness. In having that peaceful, happy life, you know, just overall wish fulfillment. And somebody did. They took action once again to try to team up and collaborate with some type of dark force, I feel, to cut you out of a new a new beginning that is yours already. Somebody here is definitely looking and spying into your life, trying to figure out how they can take something from you. This is someone who has possibly been utilizing your energy, of course, for themselves. But this person, um, it's like even if they know they can't get access to use your energy for themselves, they just don't want you to have it. Somebody here does not want you to be happy because you have these great things coming here. The emperor and the high priestess is here. Okay, I feel like for some of you, whether there's someone in your life or someone coming into your life, I've been picking up this emperor and high priestess energy for a while. There's going to be a, a major transformation between a feminine and a masculine. Now, if you're not looking for a relationship, um, this is even the union within yourself. Some of you right now with your spiritual gifts, 
um, your growth, your development. It's time for you to get more organized, be more logical in this more masculine energy, okay? So that you can really get the ball rolling in a situation in your life to go through this transformation. Sometimes we get so stuck in, in the spirit, spiritual work that we're not really focusing on the things that we still have to do here as, as a human being in this experience. And that's very easy to do when you start to um, have to go through so much spiritual warfare and everything. You know, it, it's like you, you start to dwell in the spirit all the time. But we still are human beings here having um, this earthly experience. So it's like spirit is calling on you to make sure that you sort of ground yourself. But don't allow whatever type of regret or disappointment that has been here to stop you or to slow you down because you already have enough people who have been tapping into your energy doing that for you don't don't become your own worst enemy all right this king of swords and ten of cups also too for some of you you may have a person that is in your life or about to enter your life this person i do feel like they are fair they're just this may not be the most emotional person this is someone who leads with logic they're very practical okay but this is someone who is fair they are willing to give you a very happy life a happy family if that's what you want um but it may for sure look different from what you are used to because this is a king of swords now what's interesting is the feminine energy is not out here yet Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. There's another masculine in your energy, though, for sure. Divine Feminine right now, it feels like you're just trying to stay out of the way. You're not coming out. Your energy is here, but it seems like, um, as I always say, it's like the spiritual restraining orders or some of you are needed. To, you're going through like a spiritual divorce or a separation Divine Feminine, you're, you're pulling your energy back from everything and everyone at this time. Yeah. Two of Wands. And someone is planning to come towards you to ensure that there is victory and success with you. This may be a person who lives at a distance. All right. Um, they could be traveling to see you. This could be someone who is foreign for some of you. With the Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. I just, I don't know why I'm looking at that like little globe like heart. Somebody definitely could be coming from a distance from a, another city, state, country, continent. Um, your person may not be where you are in your local area. You can meet your person while you're on a vacation or whatever the case is. Um, this is very, very direct for the most part. Yeah, there's a new offer coming in. But it looks like somebody definitely did a lot of work to try to block this connection from coming towards you. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Strength card. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yep. It took a lot of strength for you to get to this. Because you have this... I heard angry bird. You have this angry person in the background. Someone here who is taking action towards you very aggressively because of their obsession and their desire to keep you in some type of karmic cycle or situation. This is someone here who is overindulging and a lot of this person could be overindulging in um, drugs, alcohol, work. This is just a very obsessive person. Again, we did just have the full moon in Capricorn a few days ago and typically full moons like that, the energy, it does linger for quite some time. Someone here could for sure be like a workaholic. Yes. Someone here is a workaholic, and I feel that this person, um, they overindulge in different things, but this person, th their favorite pastime, their favorite thing to truly overindulge in is your energy. This is someone where they're stressed out, they're feeling any type of pain, suffering, anxiety, or anything else. They want to take a ride in your energy. I don't know exactly what this person is doing, but they definitely have been doing something with you energetically. And now that this person understands that there is a new offer that is either in your life or coming into your life. This other masculine, this distorted masculine here has done everything in their power to try to block this connection. But there's something here that you still have. And again, you see the Knight of Pentacles here. That pentacle is, is still going to land in the lap of this divine feminine. Okay, it has taken you a lot of strength and courage to still receive this Ace of Pentacles or someone had to have a lot of strength and courage to overcome whatever the situation is with this dark energy here that, like I said, someone here could um, have water in their chart, fire. Um, they could have Capricorn heavily aspected somewhere in their chart or this person is um, 
for to be honest, whoever this person is, they 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 could be hiding the fact that they're actually like some type of Satanist. This person is very very connected to the devil, or they just have after they've never done any type of healing of their own shadow. It's something about this person's this person with all of these cups here. This could be someone who is um. Like I said, overindulging in, in alcohol, food, drugs, sex, like whatever. This person has a very addictive personality and they are quite obsessive. All right. This person could be like a Sagittarius uh, Capri could be on the cusp of Sagittarius and Capricorn. They they have water somewhere in their chart. This person also could walk, be working with some type of water deities or spirits as well. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of different messages though off of these cards here with this person. This king of wands, this person rules with sex. They like bondage. They want you tied to them. The nine of cups, like I said, overindulging alcohol. This person also too, these this nine of cups with this devil card. I really do feel like this somebody is someone who could be in some kind of secret society, occult, maybe even like a satanic cult. This person is drinking, they're consuming something that's giving them some type of power. They that it's yeah. They're they're consuming something that's giving them some type of power to be able to come in to spiritually attack you in some way. I feel like this person is in regret about this because it did not work. All these cards are still falling on this Ace of Wands. So this could definitely be some type of like sex magic or something that this person is into. Which, I mean, if, if this person is into any kind of satanic cult or something like that, of course, I mean, they're using their own, you know, sexual rituals or whatever they're doing. But this person is definitely um, into something very dark and they're, they're, this person feels like they can manifest you in their life however they want. So they're doing something very dark, like I said, possibly in some type of cult, COVID, secret society or whatever, so that they can gain access to you. But going back to, like I said, with the garage door, they're doing all of this. This person may be um, using some type of dark energy, dark force or something like that to give them the power, maybe to shape shift or to spiritually monitor you or spy on you or something like that. But even when they do that, they still can't get access to the thing that they want most. Okay, there's something that is within you that is still being safe, safeguarded and protected. They can't get access to it. And maybe they got access to it in the past. But right now, like this has been, it has been cut. Like they just can't, can't get it. You have a brand new connection here. So if you're wondering, yeah, you're healing. You have a brand new connection Page of Cups, wow. Yeah, Six of Swords. You have a new connection here where you will be moving forward away from whatever this situation is. This person, y'all, I'm telling you, I I just don't even want to try to get into what all this... This person did something very, very dark. I, I really feel that some type of sacrifice or something was made. This person put... They bet a lot on being able to get back in your energy to steal something um, it's like this person wants to spiritually hack or hijack you. Okay. Um, and I feel like with the seven of pentacles here, th there was something here that like they had one more opportunity to try and do something. Um, if this is like a, some type of, um, entity, warlock, witch, wizard, or whatever, I feel like this person has tried a lot and they had one more chance to try and do something before being told that this was completely over and they had no choice but to walk away. This person has for sure been defeated. Yeah, that's the truth. This person was not able to free themselves from something to be able to go on a path with a divine feminine. Now this person is out in the cold and I feel like they're very, very um, paranoid, afraid, um, this person is upset because you're going to save you're the divine feminine energy in this very graceful, independent, self-sufficient, beautiful, abundant life. Um, Six of cups here. And most likely you have a new soulmate that's coming in that could be from a past life or it could be your actual divine counterpart. Someone here was definitely playing around with like mind control, spell work or something. This, th th These are all characteristics of, of someone that's very satanic or they're a part of some type of satanic ritual or, or cult or something like that because 
they're using, they're drinking something. I don't know what kind of potions these are, sacrifices, um, alcohol, you know, drugs, whatever it is, sex, the devil is here, okay, nine of swords, ten of swords, like, they're doing a lot, and this is someone who is putting themselves through a lot to, I, I don't know if this person is trying to be initiated, or um, if they're trying to level, rank up in this, like, cult or secret society or what, but this person was making you a part of this situation somehow, Maybe you didn't know it, but th there was a, always a plot or plan that this person had. And I think that it was to, it, it, what this feels like to me, yeah, judgment is here. It's like a person that you walked away from felt like, wow, I'll tell you one thing. Your energy is so balanced that this person, they can't do anything right now, but submit to death to a, a permanent ending here. Because whatever they tried to do to tamper with you energetically, they weren't able to latch on. I'm hearing latch on or connect to something. And I just saw the hermit. This 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 has something to do with it. Look, the devil. This has something to do for sure with this person being able to spiritually watch you. But see, the hermit is in the reverse. They can't watch or monitor you. Something here is just a complete it's a complete ending because you're in this earth angel energy or you're being protected by a lot of angels. This person has been doing like a lot of astral traveling, remote viewing, a lot of very high level magic. But in order to do this, this person makes sacrifices to get these gifts. I, some of them are natural, but for them to have the the level of skill and mastery that they have, they're doing something satanic for sure. Yeah, and this magic is not working. This person is very disappointed because whatever they're trying to manifest using your energy, it's not coming into fruition for them. This person doesn't know what they're going to be able to do if they can't watch you because this is an obsession. They can't watch you. They can't get into your energy. It's like they can't steal your dreams or something. Whatever they've been doing. Wow, look, magician. And the death card, this person is bound to whatever situations that they've been, they've created, but they're also going to, um, I'm hearing binding. This person could have tried to do binding magic on you. I feel like their gifts now, like, I keep hearing the word bind. Bind and banish. This person may have lost like all their spiritual gifts or something or the main gift that they were using to access you yeah it's over wow it's over and they was holding on to this pentacle this energy what this pentacle is here you guys what it represents to me is it's this person had access to like your soul your soul like your soul gate portal they were accessing your energy the the, the yeah it's your energy and I feel like now with the Emperor and this Knight of Pentacles, you have someone that's coming in to gift you like good energy to um, the Pentacle for me is it's knowledge. It's it's something that you can depend on. You You need your own energy at this time. This person has been holding on to an access point, the way that they've accessed you. And that makes sense now. Why I felt the need to talk about the garage, the garage door. You know, a lot of people, you you enter your home through your garage. You want your garage door opener to get in. It, but again, a garage door opener is only going to work at the correct garage. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 there's no point in having a garage door opener if you're not at the correct garage unless you, you are willing to program it. But it has to be the right garage, the right signal, and everything. This person... And I'm hearing that they, this person got sloppy because they got desperate. So something here has been slowly but surely fading as far as like maybe with the connection with the person or the way that they've been accessing you. It seems like all access has been denied. This person has gone completely mad out of pure just obsession and desperation to get back in. But the reason why this person is so desperate to get into your energy is because they've been stealing something from it. So if they can't get this this tidbit of your energy 
then that means that there's a contract of theirs that is completely over. I feel like this person's will of fortune is dependent on your energy. Look, this car will not go away. Look, yeah, because the magic. You see the magician? It's sitting there disappointing. Ace of, page of Swords. This person can't watch you. They can't stalk you. Wow. This person did something to get a closer look at you. They're doing this at night under these moon cycles. You have double moon here. Somebody here could definitely have cancer in their chart. Or this is someone who uses a lot of moon magic. Yeah, but justice is here. You're calling justice on this person. This King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person has been hiding the fact that they have a way to access you. You have justice and judgment here. I don't know what this person was doing, to be honest. But it has something to do for sure with them accessing your energy. Like a, a place where I used to live, the app was called Cellgate. That's what I, I'm here. I'm seeing the app icon that sell gate, which is how you could open the gate in this gated community. Um, but I'm hearing soul gate portal. Is that soul gate? Hold on, what is a soul, soul, soul gate portal? Soul gate. Let me look that up and see if anything comes up. Soul gate portal. Yesterday was a 7-7 seven, seven portal, too, which is all about higher ascension. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Yesterday was that it was a soul, the 7-7 um, seven, seven portal, which is definitely has a lot to do with, like, higher consciousness. But it says here, and I think I said something about Leo season, there's a Lion's Gate portal. So this person could be doing all of this, trying to prepare for the Lion's Gate portal, which is like there's a certain alignment that happens in the sky. But the Lion's Gate portal is all about, you know, that 8-8 eight, eight energy, infinite abundance. Um, So it says here, beware which gate you enter the six portals of the soul. There are six gates or por portals for the soul. When the when the soul journeys from one state to another, it passes through one of these gateways. Each portal is very so you have physical conception, first sin, conversion or restoration. This is the portal by what by which one is dead in sin may become reborn and alive again in Christ. It is a gateway of choice. The fourth gateway is, I guess it's apostasy or falling away from faith. This is a portal of choice, but a foolish choice indeed to go back into condemn condemnation and spiritual death. Then, oh, five is physical death. Physical death is the portal through which we pass from this world into the unseen world of the dead to await the judgment day. The body dies, but the soul passes on back into the hands of God. And then the sixth one is Judgment Day. Judgment is unavoidable. You have no choice but to go through it into your eternal destiny. Hmm. Jesus Christ will judge the living and the dead at his appearing. In the unseen world of the dead, many await Judgment Day in the assurance that they have been counted righteous and worthy of heaven in Christ. Is this person alive? That we're we're picking up on like this per either for some of you this person has already transitioned. For some of you, this is someone who has sold their soul. Okay. Is this a, because what I'm picking this I don't even know soul the six portals of the soul. This is giving the energy like somebody is trapped. Someone's soul is trapped or maybe that's what somebody was trying to do. Oh, wait a minute. So are you telling me that this this could possibly be so? OK, OK. So you mean to tell me that this is somebody here who possibly is like a Satanist 
who is trying to trap someone's soul is what this person has been doing. Okay, I feel like this is someone who has already sold their soul so that they can, I guess, like invoke the devil for these enhanced um, psychic abilities. But this person is going in the spirit, possibly trying to like trap the soul of divine beings, soul gates, portals of your soul. It's a transformation of our conscious, conscience, reason, imagination, mind, emotions, choice, and, re, and will. This is someone who does not want you to have free will. Wow. Wow. Okay. They just got real, like... I don't like this energy I, because this is something very, very dark that somebody is doing. But you know what's very concerning is the fact that um, this is something that there is a group. There is a group doing this. This is literally like I'm telling you, it's a group of like Satanists that's doing this. They're I don't know if they're they're trying to prepare to uh, take the souls or trap the souls of all these people. For for maybe an upcoming ritual, it could be, you know, like this Lion's Gate portal that's coming up or, you know, 7-7 was a portal and it dealt a lot with like higher consciousness and ascension. So this could be like a spiritual attack that's happening where these very, very dark people or entities or whatever, they're trying to get the conscience, the consciousness of light beings because it gives them more power satanists are all about power you know and and they feel that with their free will they can manifest anything that they want and of course they're into black magic this is satanist people who are heavy in the occult like huh sheesh i mean y'all listen because that, that just, I just heard that and you see, I had to look it up with you, but again, like with the, I don't even remember what I was talking about before. So I saw, yeah, the baby in the crash. Satanists also like to, you know, you know how they do with the sacrifices and stuff. Six, six. The plane crash had six people. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. The plane crash had six people. What did that What did that thing just say? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, we may be on to something. Let's research together. It's six portals of the soul. Oh, shh. The plane crash that I just saw on CNN. It was six dead in a plane crash. And there was a baby left in a car. I guess the parents was negligent. I did hear the guy say something about the parents was um, doing drugs, alcohol. They left the baby in the car. And I guess the baby was like 18 months old. You see the sun just like, I guess the cloud just covered up the sun. It just got so dark in here. There's six portals. Of, that's a sign. That's a sign. The baby and the six portals of the soul. So this right here is like a satanic group that is trying to do initiations, recruitments, or sacrifices by trapping the soul of light workers so that they can get more energy because they need more power. Well, I'll be. Oh my goodness. It just got so dark in here. But see, God's chosen again. It's like the garage door. You you can't do judgment day is still gonna come. And if you you don't have a soul, you know, I'm if you already sold your soul. You you have to go on to 
face judgment. First sin, which one was it? Apostasy, falling away. It's falling away from faith. Then there's physical death. And then judgment day. You have no choice but to go through it into your eternal destiny. And see, let me tell you something else too. So, you know, we've talked about all this like surveillance and other stuff that people have been using. I just thought about something like with the dealership, they was like, man, you know, you don't have to come back here. We will dispatch someone to come to you. Those of you who have been waiting on Judgment Day and your justice, the a dealership that's an entity. It's a corporate. It's, it's a business. It's a corporation. These entities they owe you, and and they're going to have to make whatever provisions they have to to pay you back whatever they've taken or to give you back something that they've taken or this may just be a sign that whatever was taken from you it has to be given back i cannot believe six portals of the soul and literally when i walked in there first of all i just want y'all to know that um that tv that was on that tv is never on the TV is never, ever on in my house. When I came into the house, I was like, what the heck? Like, what is that noise? Literally, I was, I was like, where is that noise coming from? I was like, there is no way I could hear. Like, I honestly, I, I was I was like, is somebody outside talking? Like, how could someone, how could I hear someone else's conversation? I had no idea. So I guess it was meant for me to see that. And see, I'm going to share this too. No, I'm not going to share that. <laughs> but I've, I've been getting the signs lately. I'm like, wow, it's, it's really something going on. But see, you're going to be free and liberated to live your life. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. This is you. This could be one person. You could. It, it doesn't even matter the sign. I just feel like this is the energy that you are going to have because, look, this emperor is in the reverse. This person is caught, whoever this is. So whoever had tried to trap your soul... They've been caught. And I'm 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 hearing the song um just give me all of you in exchange for me. That's Bryson Tiller. The song is called Exchange. Hold on. Because if I'm not mistaken, that that album is called like Trap Soul or something like that. Oh my goodness, y'all. Yes, yes, I cannot make it up. Trap Soul, Bryson Tiller. And that song is Exchange. Yeah. And he said, this, this is what happens when I think about you. I get in my feelings. I start reminiscing. Next time I run next time around, I want it to be different. Waiting on the sign. Guess it's time for a different prayer. Lord, please save her for me. Do this one favor for me. I had to change my play of ways. Got way too complicated for me. I hope she's waiting for me. Everywhere she goes, they playing my song. That's why I say the things that I say. That way I know you can't ignore me. So going back to the devices. Yeah, I'm just I'm just channeling this right now. And I'm just whatever signs or symbols or whatever come, I'm just saying it. This could be the type of person who is sending you a lot of different frequencies. So when you're listening to music, when you're watching stuff on TV, whatever, you're getting these signs. These signs are being sent to you on purpose. Some of you, you need to make sure that you're able to discern and to decipher where the signs are coming from. Okay. That, that's even how people do like love magic and stuff like that. There's been times when I've been in the car, I kid you not. And I will, when you really listen to these songs that we're just singing, not thinking much of, I'm like, that's like a spell, you know what I'm saying? Because you will listen to certain songs and you will start thinking about a particular person or a situation, a time or event in your life. And you need to be careful of that because that's how, that's, that's how simple mind control is because it gets you in a certain, um, a mental state will drive you into a certain emotional state. And that's what the enemy needs to attach and to attack is for you to be in a certain mindset. Okay, so even listening to that, that song, this is someone, this is like a guy that's like, every time I think about you, I get in my feelings. But this is like, 
desperation. And he's literally saying, give me all of you in exchange for me. It says we used to lay up and then stay up, have sex, and then... Yeah, like this is somebody who's constantly ruminating. This is a distorted masculine who has... This is a distorted masculine who's like um, a master occultist. Um, I don't know what kind of group this person's in, but this person is for sure like a, a, a mastermind, a wizard, a warlock or something. This person feels like if they could trap your soul somehow... I feel like this person has gotten stuck in a situation and the only way they can get out is by using your energy. If you've cut a cord or cut this person out of your energy, they're stuck in something now. And they know that there's no way they can get out because they're the emperor in the reverse. Because I feel like you made a decision to say no more or somebody stood in for you and was like no more because see, you have to go on to heal. To be fully in your divine right and power. So you had to cut this situation completely. You had to close this chapter, this cycle, like for good. And this queen of wands, queen of cups out here. You can see, I feel like when it comes to your cups is emotions. Um, psychic intuition, feelings, all of that. You're going to be free and liberated. Um, to be able to utilize your spiritual or psychic gifts or whatever or to just not be so i don't know like some of you could be dealing with heartbreak or pain your your emotional contentment and your emotional maturity and just overall balance should be restored and that's going to help you to be more confident okay because i feel like whoever this person is they probably have been doing things to try to alter your mind so that you won't feel free and liberated and you definitely won't be in your power because they don't want you to manifest for yourself this is someone who decided to sacrifice you just it's just what it is and i just looked down at the kipper deck and the card at the bottom is community this person is in some type of community and i don't feel like this person has been trying to now this is not everyone's story for some of you because i'm i'm hearing a, a story that i did not long ago where i was saying it's sort of like um this is really starting to bother me you know like if you're an organ donor okay They have to keep a person pretty much like on life support to keep the organs alive and safe for transport. This, I don't, this is, just follow me. This person wants you spiritually dead so that they can use your energy. So this is the energy like a person saying, well, it's okay for you to exist, but I don't want you to live. Why? Because they are trying to trap your soul so that they can do some kind of magic to take it and use your energy for themselves. It's because this person does not want to accept the fact that they are being judged. So this person is an occultist, Satanist, whatever. And what they've been using to protect themselves is your energy. So they're doing things to hex, curse you. I, I really don't know what kind of magic this is, but it's, it's heavy. They're doing things to get the spiritual powers to be able to watch you, to monitor you, to ensure that you don't move forward and you don't move on, that you're in isolation. Because you're like, you're like their life support. And I have a reading like that maybe four to six weeks ago I did this. You are this person's life support. The only thing that's keeping this person alive is you. Okay. Um, the only thing that's keeping this person protected is you. For some of you, this is somebody who has transitioned and they're stuck. And I don't know if this person is trying to not cross over into judgment day or if they're trying to, it's like this person is stuck in between realms if they're not here anymore. 
and they're they're somehow connected to you so they're using your energy to avoid going to the final soul gate portal which is judgment because somebody here knows that they're going to hell that like i said even if this person is still here and alive they know that the day that they have to face judgment and they don't have your energy to cloak them or to protect them they're going straight to hell wow imprisonment and look at this here this person is thinking they're plotting what exactly can i do to not go to jail or to not be stuck You have here thoughts, pathway, toilet labor, coffin, family room, expectation, and the lovers. This person is thinking about how they're being kicked out of your life or your energy because you're working so hard in your life purpose and on your spiritual journey. This is going to put an end to this person or they could lose someone in their family or lose their family or something like that. Um, but I feel like expectations here with the lovers, you have a new divine contract or partner that's entering your life. And that's what this person has been trying to block. This main male that's coming in who is of high honor. And I told you guys earlier, distant horizons here, you can meet someone while traveling or someone who's like a foreigner or something like that. Someone with great fortune is going to experience poverty or if you've been experiencing poverty or if this is someone that you know experiencing poverty due to this um trap soul satanic rituals and magic that's being done someone once this is over you're going to receive unexpected income and it's going to allow you to have a great fortune the change that's coming is yeah so some of you your finances have been tied up really bad in this situation because someone has been using all of your energy to manifest abundance this is going to change you're going somebody has to pay you some money or your energy is going to return to you where you're going to just be able to attract the money that you're supposed to have anyway. Whew. This is something else here. It's the truth though. And you see, I've just breathed like the Ten of Wands. I feel like you've had to be very resilient in carrying this burden. But it is going to get you to fulfillment. Yeah. Wow. I, I really don't even know what to call this. <laughs> wow. This person never thought that you would pull the pull your sword out and check them for taking your energy. They thought that you would always just let them take your energy and they could just look, just rush in with this beast. This person uses, this person uses the devil somehow, yeah, to come in and emotionally attach to you or to, this person is doing something like attaching to your psyche in some way in your emotions, but they've been caught. The devil here is caught. King of Wands. This person, all of their aggression and obsession, they're caught. Why? Because the high priestess is enlightened and has gotten completely out of this kingdom of darkness that this person tied you to. This person is now just aimless, just walking, wandering aimlessly in the dark because their contract is over. They can no longer do this magic to watch you and to stalk you. This, per this person... I'm telling you, especially around these full moons, this person just goes like buck wild, gets all kind of crazy with all of this spying. They're, they're kicked out, though. The Hierophant is here with the Hermit. Whoever this master occultist is or whomever, they're kicked out. Why? Because whoever this beast is or the entity that they've been using to attack you has run out of strength. It doesn't have the energy. Look at that. The, the energy here is gone. It's out of control. 
because this is a masculine that's in the reverse. It's distorted. So this person here was quickly set down when they tried to do whatever they're doing. Why? Because you're strong. You're healing. You're a healer, a light worker, and you have a brand new partner that's coming in. And whoever this person is that's coming in, they don't play about you. Or this is just your spiritual guides or team. They don't play about you, and they're protecting whatever type of connection you do have. And whoever this person is in the background that did this, they're trying very hard now to stop whatever this tower is that they that they did because they know they're about to have a fall from grace. There is no steam in their boat. Like they they have no. They're gonna drown. And it really makes me think, like I said, how everything just kind of connects. If this person, if somebody was trying to, because I'm seeing it, I'm thinking about this whole car situation. And I, I remember doing a reading last week around the 4th of July where I was saying, be very careful because if someone is trying to catfish you out or, you know, get you hurt or something like that, you know, and I, I hate to put those kind of messages out, you guys, but it's the truth. And... It, it is some people's life. Um, if somebody, it, it seems like somebody has been doing magic to try and trap your soul, but they could have even had planned to have you hurt or harm. Heavy emphasis on a car, car accident or something like that, car insecurity. Because I'm thinking about, like I said, with what I was sharing about my garage door opening in the car. But see, just like in, in that situation, God, when somebody is coming after your chariot, trying to body swap with you, God will put you in a totally different chariot. Like me, I was in a totally different car. So let's just say, even if it was me, if you was, if somebody thought that they were going to catch me out or track me or whatever, you, you couldn't track me because I wasn't in my normal chariot. I wasn't in my normal body. See, if you know, you know. <laughs> As above, so below. You 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 can't always find a person in their body. You get what I'm saying? See, th these people think that the stuff that they do in the dark and for the devil is angels. Angels can can destroy a demon. God will always destroy the devil. So your spirit guides. And God are like, oh, they think that they're going to come after your cherry, which is your destiny, right? Your your cherry, that's your destiny. You've already gotten put into a new contract. So no matter what they send out, they can't do anything to you anyway. And then even when they got in the, the, what they thought was your chariot and took the garage door opener, it's not going to open anything. And the lady, she's like, yeah, their name was one letter off from yours and you know it was our mistake so this is somebody who can watch you study you but at the end of the day it's like my fingerprint you can do everything to pass by all of the gates and get all the access but when when they need my blood or my fingerprint you won't get any further because you're just not me period I've been telling y'all, this is like blood wars. Like, people honestly think that they can steal. You you can't. You can't. I don't care how much you try to trap somebody's soul or whatever. Even, even if you get access to it, it's not going to work for you. This is really deep. I hope. <laughs> I'm done. Do you see this card literally says trap? This person is now trapped because they tried to trap your soul. And I guarantee you they're going to try to play victim. They tried to do this for some type of personal gain. And this person was trying to get knowledge about your family, your lineage, your 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 DNA. Like I said, this person may maybe this person is foreign or they feel like you're you're foreign like the, it, it, they may feel like you're not from this planet or something like that. And they are, they're really trying to figure out that's what it is. Somebody feels like you're a very supernatural being and they're trying to figure out where exactly did you come from. So to, it's like, I'm here about like they wanted to take a ride in your energy. 
And once again, I told you some of you have more than one person in your energy. This person is in a conflict and fighting with another person in your energy. You may be feeling very hesitant right now and confused because you're picking up on the energy of more than one person. So right now, that's most likely the reason why you decided to focus on self-love or you need to, to just withdraw from this contract with someone someone there's been a contract here but see this contract is there, there's a memory of this contract somebody also is getting into your akashic records or they did and they realized that they're not your only past life soulmate they wanted you to choose them this lifetime but you have another past life soulmate who most likely is like your god or dang spouse is coming into your life they went into your akashic records or whatever did whatever sacrifices they had to do to learn more about your life path and energy and your blessings and then they decided to go and try and temper with it to steal it but see this is someone who wants to steal this for themselves also for some of you i'm getting this could have already happened we've been talking a lot even about like these karmic lovers somebody could have done this to you in the past and they could have successfully ruined like an opportunity for you whether it was in your work career finances or even um what you thought at the time was a divine partnership. They could have successfully done this. I feel like somebody or this group has come in once again, and I said this at the beginning, to try to steal something else from you. And it would make perfect sense for them to do it around that 7-7 mark, um, July 1st through the 7th. It would make perfect sense because that's when that higher, like the collective goes through this upgrade in consciousness. So if they could get enough souls trapped while everybody is vibrating high, that gives this entity or this, the devil, this beast, Satan, whoever, Luciferius, it gives them more power. And that's all they really want is the power. It's very unfortunate though, because a lot of people, you've been connected to someone that's a Satanist and you didn't know it. And they've been using your energy to help them do work in this Satanic like cult or whatever rituals they do they're they're using your energy so like i said they've been signing your energetic um signature on all of this dark stuff but see god knew that now now that they're trying to sign a slip to get out they thought they was gonna pick up the pen and sign your name for their protection to get them out of it but see there was no signature of yours there because see you've already withdrawn or God has separated you from this. So they have to go straight to hell now. This person was ready to take your gift, to take that energy once again. Yeah, this person, look, this is a collaboration to spiritually bully you and, and, and somehow extract something from you. This person may have wanted to get your blood or DNA or something like that. Yeah. I bet you this person out there begging for help. Or they will be very soon because there's an ending that's coming. You refuse to reconcile with this person. And they saw that you were receiving blessings. So they said, I tell you what, since you want to get out of this contract with me and you don't want me to be your puppet master... And you're making it difficult for me and my, you know, secret society friends to control you. I'll just cause a freak accident for you. So this person tried to tap into your mind, imagination. Once again, they took a vow in this group to do this. And for them, they like I have to. They have to do this by any means necessary. They're sworn in to this group. Wow. Wow. And I feel like your purpose, you were sent to this person to love them, to care for them. But you live and you learn because this person, they decided that they want to they wanted to steal something from you. They went on a journey to become a spiritual thief. Wow. <laughs> 